Welcome to another Better Bee video. It's fall in Greenwich, New York, and we have harvested a lot of honey using fume boards, triangle escape boards, leaf blowers, and that's a good way to do it if you have lots of supers and you're taking full supers off. But what if you're a small beekeeper and you want to take just a few frames out of a super? Or you want to take the whole super, but it's too heavy, so you've chosen to take the frames out bit by bit and carry half of them in a nuke and the other half in that half empty super. So how do you get the bees off of those frames? We're going to cover that right now. The first thing that we'll do is smoke them down. And I would do this if I was using a fume board or a triangle skateboard or blowing. The first thing I always would do when getting a super off is to smoke them rather heavily. And this doesn't mean hard puffs of smoke. It just means copious amounts of the usual lightweight puffs of smoke. This gets most of the bees out of the super. And the bees are leaving right through the queen excluder. And we use queen excluders on every one of our hives. See that? There's barely any bees between those frames. Smoke is your friend. It herds the bees. I'm going to pull up the second frame because it's plastic and I know plastic rises up more easily. And uh, what we have here is a black plastic frame. And on this side, only about maybe 15% is capped. This side, about 95%. So overall, that's not enough cappings. I reject that one at this time. I want to have at least 75% total capped. And that way I know it's good thick honey under those cappings. Because nectar and partly processed honey, they both look the same. Many of you own a bee brush. But did you know there was a particular way to use it? This is the typical stroking way that most people use it. And look at the bees getting caught. It also makes them annoyed because they're agitated as they're dragged along under those bristles. So let's get back to that frame and we'll do a quick shake. And now I'll show you the better way of brushing. Just a few bees here, barely any, maybe six on each side. Short flicks with the tips of the bristles only one inch long little flicks. That's it. Not stroking all the way down the length of the frame with the sides of the bristles. So I'm going to put this really quickly into this nuke box I have waiting and pop the cover on quick because I don't want any bees to get back on that frame. Even with this care, a few bees may end up in your house and they will fly to the bright windows where it's easy to catch them with a cup and a card and let them fly outside back to their hive. The first and second were not capped over enough, so I'm going to go for the uh, fourth one here, see if it's capped enough to harvest. So now I'm going to show you a better way to shake than what you saw me do earlier in my laziness. The best shake is actually hitting against that meaty part of your palm. Toss up, hit down. Here's slow-mo. It's actually flying through the air for about an inch before you strike it. Watch this for real. Hit, hit, and nearly all the bees are off. So that's the best shake. Here's an even better way to brush than brushing the proper way with a brush. Use some kind of natural vegetation because it never accumulates the smells of annoyed bees and they don't get stuck. This is a pine branch. Um, I also had a piece of goldenrod there, which is a common flower at this time when we're harvesting. And um, the vegetation really doesn't seem to annoy them at all. Even with the proper brushing technique with a brush, they get somewhat annoyed. So I'm putting it in and closing it quickly. You could use a super that's set down on an extra inner cover and a damp towel to cover it quickly, anything like that. Just remember it's robbing season right around the same time. So don't leave things out. The side of this frame here is maybe 75% uh, capped on this side, less than 100% on this side. It's a kind of a borderline of a yes or no frame for the whole frame, but I'm going to say it's a yes. So 
quick shake, not a great shake, because I want to show you more brushing. Um, here's the goldenrod. There's a lot of different kinds. You know, just pick any bundle of wildflowers that's near your bee yard. And that's going to be our fourth frame in the nuke, which is easy to carry away. Four frames is probably about 20 pounds of honey. That's uh, close to six quarts of honey, if you want to say it that way. Uh, this second to last frame, really not capped enough to take. I'm going to let them finish more. Uh, the last frame I got a glance at, but I'll show you guys. A lot more bees, but really very little capped. So definitely not taking this. And I'm going to fill in the space in the middle with empty frames so that they don't have all that space and build crazy comb. Uh, we got to have all the proper number of frames in the box. And for us, that's nine per super, nine drawn combs per super. And we're going to close it up again and say goodbye and take in this honey and harvest just those four frames with our small extractor. And that's the situation a lot of folks are in when they're beginners and they just have a few hives. Thank you, bees. They're going to get their early fall miticide any day now. And I'll come back later on and check the progress on the frames in that last super. And right now, we'll take these into the house because that's where extraction happens. <laughs>